Project IDX, this is probably one of the best web-based IDEs that I have seen in, in past few months. This is uh, backed by Google, developed by Google, backed by Google completely. And this is the direct competitor uh, and free competitor of Bolt.new. Uh, Bolt.new, of course, uh, like this is amazing, all of us know, but products, uh, Project IDX is just next level. This is, is amazing, it's superb, because uh, the functionalities that it has and the experience that it gives inside browser, it gives like complete VS code experience uh, inside browser. And the most important thing is it has Android emulator set up inside this uh, project idea. So if you have never developed an Android application using an Android studio, you have no idea how hard it is to like reach to that point to set up Android emula emulator for a for a beginner. And then it has like the Flutter support. If you don't know about Flutter, Flutter is again backed by Google uh, for cross platform, cross platform application development. So this is just really good to when it comes like developing Android application and Flutter application. So like you can develop iOS applications and Android applications directly into in, in project um, IDX and of course Next.js. So uh, I have simply signed up. Uh, let me just go to the project IDX website. So I have simply signed up. You can simply just sign in with your Google account. And when you'll be here, you'll be at idx.google.com. So it is project IDX. Perfect. Uh, we'll just as usual, I mean, we'll just like try to create an empty project and uh, try to set up something basic out there. So uh, you can see you can actually import a GitHub repository. This is again a new, an, an amazing functionality that we don't see in Bolt.new. So this is kind of a full fledged uh, developer experience. I mean, this is serious. I, I actually reviewed that before making the video. I just wanted to like see that how it goes i you can see like uh, one project that i created on 27th of november and then one project that i just created like six minutes ago so this is this is something uh, way more better than like lovable and then other kind of uh, s uh, source book uh other kind of like web-based ids this is like a proper serious thing in inside your browser so i think we can you can start with uh, something like flutter that that can get a bit more complicated but let's try let's try i mean i, I don't know like let, let's try if i mean first um we will just like wait out so my mobile app let's just name it my mobile app and then let's just click on create and then so when i create a flutter app so that means i can now publish this app on android and on ios both so Let's make sure. So notice right now it is, it is setting up environment. I have like set Flutter environment set up on my computer. So it has nothing to do with that. And what, when you actually go to like set up Flutter environment on your computer, you, you go with so many things. You like start installing with your Android Studio. Then you start installing a lot of SDK. There is a SDK manager that then install a lot of Android SDKs. And then there, there's a plenty of steps to like reach to that point where you can create a simple Hello World Flutter application. So it's complex when it comes to like someone new to programming, trying to build something. So I, I remember like back in, I think 20s, 18, 2019, I used to build an, like basic Flutter application. So uh, it used to take a lot of time to like just set up an environment. And then also uh, to set up an Android emulator uh, right inside your um, inside your uh, computer, uh, you, your computer needs to have like uh, uh, a virtualization enabled and then there were a lot of other uh, things to like have those things enabled in, inside your computer because basically it runs an operating system on top of your operating system. So yeah. Well, this is not a tutorial about Flutter or Android development, but yeah, I mean, I just shared enough of my knowledge. So, okay, so first thing first, when you reach here, uh, next thing that you can do, you can simply just uh, simply just go to your uh, extensions tab. So this is kind of experience that you see. Uh, this experience is very similar to VS Code and you can just import VS Code um, plugins as well. So uh, you can simply just go to extension tab and look for uh, C-L-I-N-E, just look for Klein and then you can simply just click on this and just click on uh, add install so if you don't know what client is client is just an open source ai coding agent so uh, this project idx doesn't like bolt out you have built-in functionality to use client but you can just like uh, use client directly here and then you can use your own api uh, to like create your own uh, user own API either from like cloud or either from anything else. As soon as you install that, you see like this client icon appears here. Simply just click on that. And the next step is now to uh, add your API key. So open AI, cool, perfect, all right, done. 
please create and okay so as you can see like both of our uh, previews web and android is working which is amazing i mean this is this is a life savior seriously when it comes to android development particularly i mean react native is easy uh, to set up environment but android uh, using android studio and android framework very difficult uh, please create a uh, Hold on, let me just please create a expense tracker app. All right, let's just give it a command. Please create an expense tracker app. All right, let me just click on add let's see how it works uh why it's not working you actually did your current quota please check your plan and billing details for more information i purchased like uh, i had enough quota why it's not working i don't know like i have enough quota i'm using this different account for that just for testing but i don't know uh, test and copy let me just paste it again inside in here let's try to re click on retry Uh, okay, creating an expense tracker app within the expense flutter. I need to ex uh, examine. Okay, do, 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 okay, fine, approve. So, so far, it's good. Uh, what I'm really loving here, I mean, about this thing is actually this Android development because you have no idea how difficult the native Android development is. I mean, not difficult, but uh, it, it it costs a lot of time it costs a lot of time to like set up the basic environment especially if you're a beginner especially all of the people who are just like starting uh for them to set up environment uh for android it can take like sometimes days so that's why i'm just i'm not exaggerating seriously <laughs> and especially when you will start creating a build so let's suppose if you have to like you created a beautiful application now you're going to create a build it, it can take a lot of time so yeah I mean, uh, that's why I always stick to React Native. Uh, doesn't matter if I have to like create a native Android application or native iOS application. I just do it in React Native. All right. So it has this functionality of uh, like creating editing code, which is amazing. This is just amazing. I'll just click on save. Now it will go. So it is just like editing files one by one. So next is now so each time actually it sends an api request so far it has cost 0 0.5 dollars to us so that's all right that's not very cheap but that's all right i mean if you're building a full-fledged application it can cost you maybe a couple of hundred dollars because the kind of resources that you will use so yeah but i'm what i'm really loving is actually this um like browser-based environment setup in directly inside your browser this is just amazing All right, so it is just now going to create a new file. Bit slow than cursor, but it's all right. It's web based. It has everything set up for you. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's web based. So what expect? What what else do you expect? But this is good experience when it comes to like having a full stack developer experience. And this is something like that, like something serious you can create inside of this, I can tell you. Uh, okay, Flutter run. So let's just try to run it. And there is a, it has failed. Client wants to ex execute the command. 
proceed while running all right start a new task okay so it just like switch to a task but yeah i mean there are these errors so yeah you can just like go back and forth and then um, fix these errors but yeah so far it, I, I liked it i really really liked it because yeah so in web it is working actually on uh, android it is not working so there might be some issues on, on android but yeah, in web it's working but yeah i mean i i like it um it's it's good it has um capability to beat bolt dot to especially the usage of the platform is uh is absolutely for free but you have to still bring your own api key so you can like bring something maybe uh, uh do something like in, uh, install locally on olama and then um, create an api key and then use that or you can just like use something like um, anthropic or uh, chat gpt um, open api key you can bring that api key if you want so but yeah, i mean it's good it has a bright feature and i would love to like uh, do more in that especially when it comes to creating flutter application or creating android application i would love to do that so this is good i would highly highly recommend you try that and then maybe like uh, use uh, ai model something like uh, uh, maybe try with quent 2.5 i can i can create a different video with that but um, so far it was a really good really good one and i it has a very good strong chances that it can beat bolt very easily so right now even functionality wise it is better than bolt what i realize in terms of experience that i had that we used to experience directly inside your browser that's just something something amazing so i see you next video bye bye